Amenemhat III, a prominent figure of ancient Egypt's 12th dynasty, reigned from 1818 to 1770 BCE. Peace and love to Amenemhat III. His era is marked as a pinnacle of the Middle Kingdom's economic vigor, a period of flourishing prosperity. In Amenemhat III's rule, Egypt witnessed significant advancements, particularly in engineering and architecture. His most notable achievement was the completion of a sophisticated water management system around Lake Moris in the Al Fame region. This ingenious system, a marvel of ancient engineering, regulated the Nile's floodwaters, transforming a vast area into fertile, arable land. The resulting agricultural boom not only stabilized Egypt's food supply but also bolstered the economy, creating surpluses that enhanced trade and wealth. Furthermore, Amenemhat III embarked on extensive building projects, including the construction of two pyramid complexes at Dashur and Hawara. These structures, though less famous than the Giza pyramids, are testaments to the architectural prowess and artistic skill of the period. The labyrinth, part of the Hawara complex, was particularly renowned, described by ancient historians as surpassing even the pyramids in its complexity and grandeur. The reign of Amenemhat III also saw a flourishing of arts, with a distinct style that combined realism and elegance. Sculptures and reliefs from this period exhibit a high degree of skill and attention to detail, contributing significantly to Egypt's rich artistic legacy. The prosperity and stability of Amenemhat III's reign had far-reaching impacts. It allowed for the development of a more sophisticated bureaucracy, which in turn led to better governance and record-keeping. This period also saw increased trade with neighboring regions, furthering Egypt's influence and cultural exchange. The legacy of Amenemhat III extends beyond his architectural and economic achievements. His reign is a testament to the power of vision, innovation, and leadership. By harnessing the natural resources of the Nile and advancing the arts and sciences, he set a benchmark for future generations. His story is a powerful reminder of how understanding and leveraging the past can lead to a prosperous future, encouraging us to learn from history and apply its lessons in our pursuit of progress and excellence. Amenemhat III's reign was not just a period of physical and economic growth, but also a time of significant intellectual and cultural development. His rule is often regarded as a golden age for literature, where the production of texts flourished. The works from this era, including wisdom texts and literature, reflect a society deeply engaged in introspection and philosophical thought. This intellectual bloom not only enriched the cultural fabric of ancient Egypt, but also provided future generations with a window into the values, beliefs, and daily life of the people during the Middle Kingdom. Under his governance, Egypt maintained strong defenses, which ensured peace and stability. This stability, in turn, allowed for uninterrupted development in various spheres of life. Amenemhat III's strategic diplomatic and trade relations further strengthened Egypt's position as a significant power in the ancient world. The exchange of goods and ideas with neighboring cultures not only enriched the Egyptian economy but also fostered a cosmopolitan atmosphere in the kingdom. In the realm of religion, Amenemhat III is remembered for his devotion to the god Sobek, associated with the Nile and its fertility. He built several temples dedicated to Sobek, which also served as centers of learning and cultural exchange. His contributions to religious architecture and patronage of the priesthood reinforced the cultural and religious identity of Egypt, weaving religion even more deeply into the social and political fabric of the nation. The legacy of Amenemhat III's reign is a testament to what visionary leadership can achieve. His ability to harness the natural and human resources of Egypt to create a prosperous and stable kingdom stands as a remarkable achievement in history. His story reminds us that through innovation, wise governance, and cultural patronage, societies can reach heights previously unimagined. The lessons from Amenemhat III's reign are timeless, teaching us the importance of foresight, adaptability, and respect for both cultural heritage and innovation. These principles remain relevant as guiding lights for leaders and societies today, encouraging us to build upon the past to create a better future. In examining the intricate details of Amenemhat III's reign, one cannot overlook his impact on the social structure of ancient Egypt. His era saw an increase in the wealth and influence of middle-class officials and artisans. This shift played a crucial role in shaping the societal dynamics of the period, as it allowed for a more diverse range of voices and talents to contribute to the kingdom's development. The rise of a vibrant middle class under Amenemhat III's rule also led to changes in the arts, as craftsmen and artists had more opportunities to showcase their skills and innovations. Amenemhat III's administrative acumen was also notable. He effectively managed the intricate workings of a complex state apparatus, ensuring efficient governance across various regions of Egypt. 
his reforms in administration not only streamlined governance but also ensured that resources were allocated efficiently, contributing to the overall prosperity of the kingdom. Moreover, the educational system during Amenemhat III's reign saw significant growth. Knowledge and learning were highly valued, and this period saw an increase in the number of scribes and educated individuals. This emphasis on education and literacy played a crucial role in preserving the rich cultural and historical heritage of Egypt, as evidenced by the extensive records and literary works that have survived to this day. Towards the end of his reign, Amenemhat III faced challenges, including a decline in the efficiency of the central government and external pressures. However, his legacy as a pharaoh who brought unparalleled prosperity and stability to Egypt remained unchallenged. His contributions across various fields set a foundation that would influence Egyptian society for generations to come. The enduring legacy of Amenemhat III's reign is further illuminated when we consider his impact on international relations and trade. His reign marked a period of extensive international trade relations, not just with the immediate neighbors of Egypt but also with distant lands. Trade expeditions were sent to far-off regions such as Punt and Byblos, bringing back precious materials like incense, cedar wood, and exotic animals. These expeditions not only enriched Egypt's economy but also its cultural and intellectual landscape, as they facilitated the exchange of ideas and knowledge between different civilizations. The effective administration of Amenemhat III also extended to mining and quarrying operations. Egypt's exploitation of natural resources, including the mining of precious stones and minerals in the Sinai Peninsula and the quarries of Aswan, was significantly advanced during his reign. These resources were crucial for his ambitious building projects and played a pivotal role in demonstrating Egypt's wealth and power. Amenemhat III's reign was also marked by a significant advancement in medical knowledge and practice. The prosperity of the period allowed for the development of more sophisticated medical practices, and the increased literacy rates contributed to better documentation and transmission of medical knowledge. This period saw the production of medical texts that would influence Egyptian medicine for centuries to come. In terms of governance, Amenemhat III demonstrated a remarkable ability to balance tradition with innovation. While he respected and upheld the traditional values and religious practices of Egypt, he was not averse to adopting new ideas and technologies that could benefit his kingdom. This adaptability was key to his success and allowed him to maintain stability and prosperity in a period of potential upheaval and change. Finally, the legacy of Amenemhat III serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of cultural and intellectual pursuits in a society's development. His reign demonstrates that a society's strength does not lie solely in its economic or military power but also in its commitment to intellectual, artistic, and cultural growth. The flourishing of arts, literature, and science during his time created a rich cultural heritage that continues to inspire and educate people around the world. In essence, the story of Amenemhat III is a story of a civilization at its zenith, a testament to what can be achieved when a society harnesses its full potential under visionary leadership. It is a narrative that encourages us to appreciate the complexities of history and to draw lessons from the past that can inform and enrich our present and future endeavors. Amenemhat III's reign, in many ways, also marked a significant turning point in the religious landscape of ancient Egypt. His deep devotion to the crocodile god Sobek was reflective of a broader trend during the Middle Kingdom, where local deities gained prominence alongside the traditional pantheon. This shift had profound implications for religious practices and temple architecture. Temples became not just places of worship, but also centers of economic activity, education, and cultural preservation. By patronizing these temples, Amenemhat III reinforced the integral role of religion in everyday life and governance. In the realm of art, Amenemhat III's era is distinguished by a distinctive style that focused on realism and individuality. Portraits from this period often depict subjects with a remarkable degree of realism, showcasing a deep appreciation for human individuality and emotion. This artistic approach was not limited to portrayals of royalty but extended to depictions of common people, indicating a broader social change in the way different classes were viewed and represented. Amenemhat III's approach to governance also demonstrated a keen understanding of the importance of sustainability. His projects, particularly the management of Lake Moris, showed an advanced grasp of ecological balance. By creating a system that allowed for controlled irrigation and cultivation, he not only boosted the kingdom's agriculture but also ensured the sustainability of these practices over time. This foresight in resource management is a critical lesson from his reign, emphasizing the importance of balancing economic growth with environmental stewardship. The pharaoh's legacy was not without its challenges. Towards the end of his reign, 
there were signs of weakening central authority and increasing local power. These issues would eventually lead to difficulties for his successors and contribute to the eventual decline of the Middle Kingdom. However, these challenges do not diminish the achievements of Amenemhat III's reign, instead, they provide a more nuanced understanding of the complexities of governing an ancient civilization. In sum, the reign of Amenemhat III was a period of remarkable achievements across various domains, from economics and engineering to arts and governance. His story is a rich tapestry that intertwines the threads of innovation, cultural advancement, and wise leadership. It serves as a powerful reminder of the cyclical nature of history, where periods of greatness are often followed by challenges, and each era offers its own lessons. By studying Amenemhat III's reign, we gain not only insights into the past but also wisdom that can inform our present and shape our future. His legacy encourages us to strive for excellence, to balance tradition with innovation, and to understand that true greatness in leadership lies in advancing the well-being of all citizens and respecting the natural world upon which we all depend. Kindly click like, subscribe, and share this channel.